Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Jen and today we'll be making homemade pizza dough. And these are the ingredients that you'll be needing. Okay, so I'll be adding one tablespoon to one tablespoon of yeast to one and a half cups of cold water just as soon as I get this package open. Okay, so we're gonna add one tablespoon of yeast to the water, along with one tablespoon of sugar. Give it a quick stir. We're going to let this set this aside and let it bloom for at least five minutes. Okay, next, we're going to add three and a half cups of flour, all purpose flour, to the bowl. one half okay okay next is one and a half teaspoons of salt one teaspoon of garlic granulated garlic Okay, now let's give it, let's stir up the dry ingredients before we add our olive oil. Okay, so here we have one and a half tablespoons. There's one and a half of olive oil. Now look how beautiful this yeast bloomed. This bloomed so much nicer than my yeast packets. Well, of course it was just open, it was vacuum sealed, but this is beautiful and I love the smell of yeast. Okay, let's go ahead and pour in our yeast water. Stir. And mix this together. And as you can see earlier, it looked dry and it looked like it may have needed water, but like I said, just keep kneading it and kneading it and kneading it, and it picked up all the flour that was in the bowl. And this is what it looks like so far. Uh, we're about three minutes into kneading it by hand. Okay, so five minutes has passed on that five minute arm workout. It really is a workout. So on a clean surface, you wanna go ahead and put down some, just a little bit of flour. And to knead the dough for one minute. Okay, so it's been one minute, so we're going to go ahead and return our dough to the bowl. And we're going to just drizzle just a little bit of olive oil to coat it. So it doesn't get dry on us while it rises. Okay, so that looks nice and good. Now just to go ahead and cover it with the cloth, clean cloth, or in my case, I'm using a plastic wrap. And we're gonna set it near the most warmest place in the kitchen or wherever for um, five 
30 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna stick mine next to the uh, stove. Okay, so this pizza dough has risen quite a bit and we still have 12 more minutes to go. Okay friends, so it's been 30 minutes and boy has our dough risen. Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and punch it down. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and just a little bit here. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and roll it out. Okay, and to my cornmeal bottom pan, covered pan, sticking it in. I'm gonna give it a nice little stretch from the inside out. And what I like to do, so my crust is not soggy, I like to stick my pizza dough my into the oven for at least five minutes so it forms a soft a nice little crust to it so after I do this I'm going to stick it into the oven for five minutes and my oven is set to 500 degrees hey friends so here is the crust pizza see how it's nice and a little bit crusty so it'll go ahead and take the uh, sauce okay friends so that's it that's it for the video this is how I make a uh, pizza Thank you so much for watching, friends, and you have a great one. Thanks for watching. Bye.